Hi everyone, how are you doing? Uh, first of all, short question. Who of you have ever need to use a non-React component, UI component in a React application? <laughs> OK, so I will be talking about uh, approaching this um, idea, how to reactify your existing UI components to use them in a React application. I have been working as a front-end developer for many years, and currently I'm working as a software engineer at Sentium. So we all know that React is a component-based library for building user interfaces that has no pre-built components. But on the other hand, there is a lot of great, awesome components uh, developed by different teams and companies over the last like 15 years. And uh, uh, company, uh, components were developed by internal teams or third-party teams. Uh, and uh, who of you already have a UI component, not React components, that you would like to use in React applications? These components use the requirements, and you like it. <laughs> OK, just a few. So I have good news for you. Existing components could be reused. Uh, you may wonder why uh, components specially developed uh, as React components is the best option for React application. And technically, it's true. I agree. But in an uh, ideal world, in a real world, uh, all companies, all teams always have limited time, limited resources, and they need to achieve a goal within a fixed uh, time frame and within a fixed budget. So why you would need to reuse existing components in, a re uh, in React application in a real world? Because your components provides all requested features, uh, because there is no uh, similar React component available on the market. And because rewriting your existing component as a React component would require a lot of time and effort. So a bit of background. Uh, how did we come to this idea and decided to um, solve this issue? Uh, our main product is uh, EXEJS library uh, JavaScript framework, and it includes a lot of uh, UI components. So the reasonable question was like, um, why would we not make these components available for React users? And um, we decided to rectify them and uh, make it possible to use them in a React application. So uh, as uh, implementation of this idea, we have developed an open source tool called XJS Reactor that allows to use the XJS components in React application. I will talk about general way of doing this, but uh, with some examples from uh, Reactor. So basic concept. Just a simple wrapper that will uh, create uh, EXEJS component or your component under the hood. And it will, uh, constructor of this wrapper will take props from React, uh, state from React, and then transform them and create EXEJS configs. Then uh, there is, um, it will translate uh, React method calls into EXEJS method calls. And it will also fire React events that correspond to EXEJS event. And it provides a link to underlying EXEJS component. So, uh, but this wrapper, it's uh, just a starting point. Uh, the most interesting task is to um, embed EXEJS component or any other UI component in a React uh, uh, components hierarchy. There is a simplest uh, React component hierarchy. And wrapper should allow us to add uh, third-party component, not only as a leaf component, but it should be also possible to uh, add uh, standard React components as children to our component. So how could you implement this? Uh, first, reactify functions that takes uh, any EXEJS component type and return class that will extend EXEJS component. Uh, EXEJS component is a it's wrapper itself. It extends uh, React component class. It provides, uh, its, provi its constructor will take props and create underlying EXEJS component. Uh, it will return this component as uh, output of get public instance function. It will also have methods that will translate uh, React uh, 
message calls into EXTJS message calls, and it will implement all magic inside of uh, component did mount, component did update functions, uh, and so on. So inside of these functions, you could could ca have call methods of X renderer, and X renderer will implement uh, methods of React reconciler. Uh, all this uh, create instance, append initial child, append child, and other functions, and all real magic will happen here. Th these functions will res be responsible for actually embedding uh, component, EXTJS component in the React component uh, hierarchy. And uh, that's it. How could you use uh, your reactified components? First, you import uh, any component like grid from your package and uh, transpiler, uh, for our case, transpiler will transpile this line co of code into two lines. First, we import the reactify function and then we reactify our grid or any other component. And after this, you just uh, directly use grid or like column component directly into render function. There is a simple example of grid with two columns. And, and as a, a bit more interesting example, I would like to show you a reactified uh, grid component that shows uh, more than two million rows in a, in a browser. So I will refresh. And there is row number a column, and I will start scrolling. More than 1 million, more than 2 million. So it's just simply reactified component. Oops. The source code. Just grid with several columns. And inside of row, you could uh, add um, React component. So to play with this, you could uh, check our GitHub repo. And uh, if you would like to know more about this approach or would like to see more examples, please let me know. I'm super happy to talk. Okay.